building was famous uh, as George's Spaghetti House. Uh, it was a um, jazz club which operated from the early 1940s until 1996. And then uh, we started 2004. I fell in love with uh, a woman uh, 1995. Uh, that didn't work out. Uh, I was very depressed and, and I missed her. Yeah, that's why Lena uh, named it to Love Cafe. So I believe uh, that so that I could uh, meditate. On love. Uh, the purple contains red and blue, so female, male, and combined it creates purple. So I thought, no, no, I felt, yeah, you know, it, beautiful. I'm proud of chili, the chili, uh, burgers, and spaghetti. Yeah, those three things I'm proud of. In the beginning, you just named it Juicy Burger. And I thought, hey, you know, like, why not make it interesting, right? You know, like Juicy Sexy Burger. So uh, some people are turned off by it. Uh, some people think it's fun and interesting. And it's like, you know, it's been fun. Wow, there's so many things types of tea. Uh, there's the, the regular black tea, um, herbal tea. Yeah, I, I want to say teas, but yeah, you're supposed to say, say tea. Um, like, uh, like I stated before, we are a coffee shop and a restaurant, and basically that's what it is. Uh, the extra of what people call community development or whatever yeah like uh, I believe uh, this neighborhood is is important special to me uh, especially because we also lived in this neighborhood when we were children and I want to make things happen for people <laughs> Oh, the best food in the city, the best service, best ambiance. Still clings to the old-fashioned values of the restaurants back in the 50s and 60s, you know. It's, it's always been a bad area of the city, though, so actually it's improved compared to what it was in the earlier decades. It was really bad. It was like they used to have street gangs of kids that used to go around and kill homeless people for sport, you know. They might get the odd few senses, but I mean, they just wanted to kill them for sport for something to do, I guess. And, uh, oh, yeah, pretty savage around here in the old days. Uh, oh, you were talking about the past lives. Yeah, I was just talking about that today, actually. But the, the last one I remember was uh, in Germany at the start of World War II, and I got killed by an Allied bomb. One of the first bomb runs over Berlin or whatever, I got killed. So this life now that I live to see 63, this is my longest life of about the last four, though. <laughs> there is no real philosophy. Over the years, I've heard the different interpretations that people have of uh, what true love means. Like, for example, um, the love that God has for people. Another one is um, the love that a mother has for her child. And, of course, romantic love. People just don't believe in, you know, spirituality or so. And, it, and it's not my job to force, force it upon them. But you know, something about, I don't know, life is beyond science. It's, it's, it seems that science is the new religion of, of this world. 
but it's not enough. And something exists, God, something exists. And meditation, I believe, is important. Part of the focus or something, something, different dimension, something. Everybody's sharp in Toronto, you know, sarcastic, cynical. Uh, everybody has an agenda. You know, that's what I thought. And many of these special, wonderful people proved me wrong. And like, on their life journey, just passing through would help me. Then they're gone. 